Welcome back to the channel where we explore, learn, and theorize about the Marvel Universe. Today I'll be talking about leaks for the Spider-Man No Way Home trailer, characters from Phase 4 appearing in What If Season 2, and a Shang-Chi TV spot leaking a character death. Now let's get started. Sony Pictures Germany has created a visible playlist on their YouTube channel for the upcoming release of Spider-Man No Way Home, which once again confirms that we'll be getting the trailer soon, either at CinemaCon next week or with the release of Shang-Chi in theaters on September 3rd. As for the leaks, they're coming from heavy spoilers who got an email from someone who supposedly worked on the trailer. Now if you want to hear the leaks for the entire trailer, then definitely go watch his video, because I'm just going to be talking about the Sinister Six, which in my opinion, is the most important part. According to Paul, we'll see a tentacle come into frame, and then hoist up Alfred Molina's de-aged Dr. Octopus, who will say, Hello Peter. We'll also see yellow electricity above a group of policemen, which will be fired at Spider-Man. And this is of course coming from Jamie Foxx's Electro, whose lightning has been changed from blue to yellow to be more comic accurate. However, before the lightning can hit Peter, a wall of sand forms blocking it, which is of course coming from Sandman, and could hint at him helping the heroes, since at the end of Sam Raimi's Spider-Man 3 he had a redemption arc. Next we see the lizard who jump scares Peter while he's exploring the Sanctum Sanctorum, and the final member of the Sinister Six we get a tease for is the Green Goblin when a pumpkin bomb rolls towards the screen. The leaker also stated that these were the only five villains he saw, which means that Marvel Studios and Sony are probably keeping the sixth villain a secret, and it could really be anyone. From Mysterio or Scorpion, to the Rhino, or even Morbius or Venom, depending on if Sony and Marvel decided to connect the two universes, although that's very unlikely. And the final shot of the trailer will show Peter suiting up in his upgraded or integrated Iron Spider suit. Next, Kevin Feige confirmed that What If Second Season will include films from Phase 4. And this makes sense as Phase 4 is already set to introduce countless new characters from Shang-Chi, The Eternals, and Blade to the Fantastic Four and the X-Men. And lastly, in the most recent teaser for Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, we can see Death Dealer being grabbed and seemingly killed by tentacles. And when I first saw this, I was like, what's Marvel thinking? They're literally spoiling the movie in these TV spots. But now that I think about it more, while there is a high chance that Death Dealer does die in the movie, Marvel could have included this in the trailer to get people talking about it, and Death Dealer actually doesn't die. Maybe he's saved by Shang-Chi at the last second and joins him in the fight against the Mandarin. But let me know what you guys think about all this. When do you think we'll get the trailer for Spider-Man No Way Home? Are you glad that we'll see Phase 4 characters in What If Season 2? If you watch the TV spot, do you really think that Death Dealer died? And if so, why do you think Marvel spoiled this? If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you'll never miss another video. Thanks for watching, and remember to wash your hands and stay safe.